Let's write a C program to segregate zeros to the left and ones to the right of the array using swapping method. So here we have a junction here wherein zeros are to the left and ones are to the right. We shouldn't cross over this lines, this point, okay? So I'll take two variables left and right. I'll assign zero to left, the first index of the array. And to the variable right, I'll assign the last index. Here, size of the array is 10 from zero to nine, which means 10. So I could write n minus one, that is 10 minus one is nine. But I already know the number here, the last index, which is 9. So I'll take the number directly so that it will be helpful for you to understand the logic. So now I'll write the condition while left is less than right because it shouldn't cross over the point, okay, junction point. So now we already have 0 here, which is sorted. We already have 0 here, which is again sorted. We have 1 here, so we need to swap that. So one, zero, we need to swap a of two with a of eight. So let's start from left while a of left, whatever is present inside a of left, if it's already sorted, which means it's already zero, then increment the value of left by one, increment the index value by one. So let's check this logic. So a of zero is zero. Now let me increment the value of left by one. So a of one is again zero. So increment the value of left by one. Now a of two is one. So control exits this while loop. So let me continue writing my logic. So a of right, if it's one, if it's one, then it's sorted. Just decrement the value of right by one. So let's check this code. So a of nine is already one. It's sorted. So let me decrement the value of right by one. Now a of eight is zero, so control exits this while loop. So let me continue writing the logic. I'll continue here, the code should be within this while loop. So I'll write the condition once again, left is less than right. We need to write swapping logic inside this. Why am I checking this condition once again? I'll show you why once, once I write this code. So we already know we need to have zeros to the left. So a of left should have zero and a of right should have one. We swap the values of a of two and a of eight, that's it. And then let me increment the value of left by one and decrement the value of variable right by one. So simple logic. Now execute this while loop once again. So left is less than right. So first while loop, a of three is zero. Now increment the value of left now the second while loop, a of seven is already one. So decrement the value of right by one. So a of six is again one. Decrement the value of right by one. So a of five is zero. So control exits this while loop. Again, left is less than right, okay? So a of left should be zero, a of four. And a of five should be one. Now increment the value of left by one and decrement the value of right by one. Now the while loop condition once again, left is not equal, not less than right now. This condition is false, so control exits this main while loop. So outside this while loop, I'll just print out the elements of the array. So I'll initialize i to zero and iterate this for loop until i is less than n. For each iteration, increment the value of i by one. And inside this for loop, let me print the value of individual elements of the array. So that's it. Now, why we wrote this condition once again? So now, assume that this, this is the user input, the sorted elements, okay? So now, the first while loop, the value of left keeps incrementing as we have zero here, zero here, zero here, but one, so control exits this while loop. Now the second while loop starts from right side. So we have one here, so decrement the value of right, decrement the value of right, decrement the value of right, and now we have zero, so exit this while loop. Now this, without condition, if we wrote this, this piece of code, so a of left should be, which is a of five, should be zero, a of right should be one, so this, 
gets reversed and we will get the wrong output so that's why we need to check if left is still less than right okay so let me show that in code i'll take an array variable a of n of type integer i for for loop and left will be assigned 0 and right to the last index which is n minus 1 so let me ask the user to enter percentage d elements give the hint to within the bracket 0 or 1 so the value of which is present inside macro n let me define this macro n so hash define n i'll give 10 to it now let me get the input from the user using this for loop percentage d percent a of i so now let me write the main while loop so while this left the variable whatever is present inside variable left is less than the value of right keep iterating this while loop so inside i'll write another while loop here i'll check if a of left is equal to zero that means it's already sorted so i'll increment the value of left by one position now i'll check from right side while a of right from right side it should have all ones so a of right is equal to one if that's the case decrement the value of right by one now swap these two the values present at these two positions which are present at left and right so if left is still less than right then a of left should have zero and a of right should have one we need not take a temporary variable to swap it because there are only two elements here and we already know left should always have zero and right should always have one now we increment the value of left by one and decrement the value of right by one let me print out the elements of the array now so array after i'll just use the word sorting here instead of segregating so sorting makes more sense for me uh, in this method so after array after sorting zeros to left and ones to the right okay i'll write the regular for loop here initialize i to zero iterate this for loop until i is less than n for each iteration increment the value of i by one now printf percentage d uh, i'll have slash t here tab character three space character and the value is present inside a of i so let me execute this once and check for the result so i'll give one zero 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 one zero one zero so we have three ones i guess one two and three and remaining things are all zeros and it has been segregated so let me remove these two lines two lines of code and we could use left plus plus and right minus minus here first a of left will be assigned zero after that the value of left will be incremented and similarly to the variable right so i'll give the same input now one zero one zero and it's been segregated rightfully now so now if what happens if we remove those conditions before that let me show you a output here uh, when user inputs sorted elements zero 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 and then one 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 five zeros and five ones okay it's getting the right result okay what if we remove this condition as i told you the junction point the middle values will get sorted let me show that to you so i'll give the same input five zeros followed by five ones look at the middle values these two things get swapped zero and one in the middle and it's happening right here so that's why we need to have this check but it doesn't happen for many other inputs so it's giving right result only the junction point if we have zero and one in sorted way it reverses it giving wrong result so always have this check in place 
So this is how we, we segregate zeros to the left and ones to the right of an array using sorting method. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends on social media sites and chat applications like WhatsApp, Telegram, WeChat, maybe uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, F Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube and happy Guru Purnima to everyone. Thank you.